It's not so much that I remember the house on Porter Street. It's just that I don't not remember it. I can look at these pictures and remember going up that street and climbing those stairs. Our door was at the back of the tenement. The entrance was added when Mr. Parks started letting out the rooms. The stairs were rickety and moved if more than one person was on them at a time. We had two rooms for the five of us. For some reason it never really seemed that crowded. Pa worked when he could picking up various jobs. He was able to stay around most of the time. My older brother Jem did work for Mr. Clancy who lived downstairs. Lizbeth and I were allowed to go out some but mostly we stayed close just in case. We all slept in the same room. Pa, Ma, and Lizbeth in one bed and Jem and I in the other. Mr. Clancy lived downstairs with his son Paul and the meanest cat God ever put on earth, Georgie. I always felt like that cat was spying on us when we were outside. Upstairs, the aunts did laundry with Ma to make some extra money, along with some patching and hemming. They weren't our real aunts, but that's what we called them. Aunt V was older and didn't talk much. Aunt Teresa would give us a penny if she had one, and she always told us to go buy some candy. We always gave the penny to Ma. We never did get any candy. The Parks owned the house, and they lived downstairs. Mr. Park enjoyed the drink, and Mrs. Park spoke very poor English. He'd yell at us if we made noise during the day. I don't so much remember the times as hard on Porter Street. They were just the times we shared, and we were family.